Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, <coughs> another quick uh, collection update. Um, got a new addition. Uh, here's my baby Bosque monitor or Savannah monitor. Literally a baby. Just bask in there. He's cool. He's in a three foot viv at the moment, but obviously that will be upgraded when he um, when he needs it. Just sitting on his rock there. Um, I'm also gonna do an egg update of my corn snake eggs, as I haven't done that so far. Um, but I'll quickly show you uh, one of the females that laid one of the clutches. She's an annery down there. She laid about two weeks ago for me. Um, okay, so I'll show the eggs. And they're set up in uh, a Lucky Reptile incubator. Uh, let me just set the camera down for two seconds. Okay. Alright, so the one I just showed you, the Annery, this is her clutch. She laid 15. Uh, one was no good. 14 perfect fertile eggs. Are there. I've counted them all and they're all they're all fertile, all viable. Uh, the kitchen roll there is just to uh just for like these top eggs here uh, that are not in the substrate just to help them get a bit of the moisture and to stop um water droplets dropping on the eggs themselves, which of course can kill them. Uh, the second clutch is of a female that was not with me at the moment. Um, she laid 17 for me, but she became egg bound with six, so she's in the vets. And they don't look as nice as the first ones, but they are still all viable. I've candled them. And there's 17 in there. So again, 17 eggs. So that would have been a 23 egg clutch. Uh, for a female, it was her first time breeding. Now I just have to pop, um, pop the camera down a second while I put them back in the incubator. Okay. Uh, these are just thermometers. For each tub, just to give me a clue as to uh, what the temp is inside each tub. They do vary a bit, by well, a couple of degrees, from where the bottom one is to the top one. As you can see, 81.1 and 79.7 at the moment, but that one usually goes to about 82.5, and the one that's just fallen down goes to about 81.5. Or thereabouts, so that's cool. Um, okay, I have my albino bam in here. There she is, little baby. Absolutely stunning. Very, very friendly, which is unusual for bams. But she's just eight, so I won't pick her up. Uh, a lot of, again, a lot of these snakes you've already seen. Um, just giving you an update of the people to the people that actually want to see them. Uh, it's my pastel royal who's in heavy shed at the moment. He's in there. Um, what else have we got? We've got my 1800 gram female royal, normal, who's tucked up by in there. She's my first ever snake I got. Uh, in there we have uh, just a normal corn male. He's the daddy to both those clutches. 
He's in there messing up his cage. Keeping my, all mine on paper, besides the babies which I keep on Aspen. Uh, like this candy cane female. Corn snake. Just kept on Aspen. I just think it's uh, they feel a lot more secure on Aspen. They can bury themselves, etc. Uh, in here we have a selection of babies. We have a snow blood red. We have someone who has shed. I think it's the it's a black hepputa female baby. And these are all girls in here. We have her as well, but she doesn't want to doesn't want to come out and play. But uh, that's them. Uh, what else do I have? I have. I have in here. Let's have a see. In here we have a, a lavender motley corn snake female. And she's not very friendly at all. Let's see if we should buy it. No. But she is not very friendly at all. Very skitty. Wasn't handled a lot when I got her. But colour's amazing. Lavender Motley should be a great breeder once she gets up to size. <coughs> Excuse me. That's her. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, in here we have a female hypo stripe corn. If I can find her. Find her head. There's her head. No, I'm not dinner. I'm not dinner. Don't try and eat me. There she is. Stunning hypo stripe corn snake female. She's lovely. She goes in there. Um I haven't shown you. Uh well that's my rack, as you can see. Homemade incubator on top. Goes all the way down the bottom, all the way down, all the way down. The bottom three tubs are empty, um, and that's about it. So as promised, there was the egg, egg update, and an update on my brand new Savannah or Boss monitor. And I will let you know how it gets on. Okay, peace out.